Cancer. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for June the 7th through June the 13th. All right, Cancer, let's get into your messages for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful, committed bond. Love, romantic, committed bond. Angels, what is going on? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Positive energy. We're looking for joy for the lovebirds. We have the garden and rainbows in our forest. No trees to be. Rainbows stand with love and not hate. Yes, with the garden, I feel like the two of you are just enjoying each other's company. I don't feel like there's any, no, there's no obstacles. It's smooth sailing this week. Yeah, picture rainbows. You know how you feel when you see a rainbow after, you know, a thunderstorm? It's kind of like that. You're like, <sighs> yeah, you feel good. All right, angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy for singles. What is going on for singles? The love for you guys that are looking for new love in your world. We have luminosity and shake it off if you fall in others jeer just shake it off and walk with cheer so with luminosity i feel you are focusing way too much overly too much on love this week you know it's almost like you know when you focus so much on finding love finding love finding love it's kind of like you're pushing it away and pushing it away Take a deep breath, step back, let love find you, okay? All right, now, because that energy, I feel it like did a little bit of, um, yeah, you don't want to have desperate energy, okay? So just kind of let, just let love find you. You. Now, let's, and that's just for this week, okay? All right, now, let's look into the general message. Thank you, thank you, thank you for Cancer Angels, high vibrations for Cancer for seven little days. That is it, just seven little days. Now, moving on to, you know, my mama's deck for lovely, lovely Cancer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, angels, we're looking for high vibrations for cancer. Moving on to the dragon's deck. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Angels, we're looking for some joy for cancer. There we go. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep shuffling. There we are. Now let's go ahead and finalize. <laughs> I feel like we're we're doing a, a contract. Let's finalize this message, if you will, with the hummingbird deck thank you thank you angels high vibrations looking for joy thank you uh -huh. and one more please thank you and thank you all right oh we need to choose one let's pick one from the buddha bonus the spiritual buddha bonus for the week cancer is education so make no mistake you will be learning something or for some of you teaching something this week now let's take a peek at your major theme with the queen of wands reversed with the eight of hearts the consistent seven of clubs and the ace of spades i feel like this week you're giving up your power with the Queen of Swords. Come on, Cancer. You're giving up your power. You know, you're more powerful than that, okay? With a consistent, come on now, get back to, I feel like you kind of, you slip it. I feel like you slip it when it comes to your power. Get with the Seven of Clubs. Get more spiritual. Yes, with the Ace of Spades. I see you. Maybe, did you forget to meditate? Did you forget to pray? Did you forget? Because you know, you know you're the spiritual warrior, right? You have more power in this situation than you think you gave up your don't you dare give up your power all right now let's look in the recent past you have the page of cups with the nine of hearts organize the six of clubs and the three of diamonds so i feel like in the recent past there was some love in your world now that was a page there okay so that love was kind of um, um you needed bigger love 
you needed more love. You wanted more love than was given, but you settled with the nine of hearts. You know, you know, you did, you know. With the organized, I feel like you put it neat, neatly in the box and you found a way to accept what was given. With the six of clubs, you know that was the truth. But with the three of clubs, you were always worrying about accepting love that was... wasn't kingly or queenly, all right? All right, now, that was in the recent past. Now, when we look in, the, now, when I say the recent past, the recent past, except for some of you, maybe that recent past was yesterday, maybe that recent past was a month ago, a year ago, 10 years ago, and you're like, Dora, that's not recent, okay? <laughs> all right, but apply it as it fits in your world. Now, when we look in the middle of the week, we have the five of pentacles with the seven of hearts, boundaries, the queen of diamonds, and the nine of spades. So in the middle of the week, I feel there is a feeling of lack, not having enough, and it's making you sad, making you sad, and it's but it's also making you set boundaries, which is a good thing. So if someone isn't giving you what you think you deserve in love, yeah, it's time to set some boundaries. Yes, this is this is a good thing and this is a powerful thing, but at the same time, you're agitated that you even have to go there. You're agitated that you even have to set boundaries because with the nine of spades, you know that if you don't set these boundaries, you're gonna let it go. Yeah, yeah. Like they need to they need to rise up and match your boundaries. Now, if this is not you, Cancer, it is them. Now, this could be um, um, someone boundaries. It could be your children. It could be your parents. It could be your love, your romantic partner, um, your best friend, whoever it is that's making you feel. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it because, you know, people say, well, people can't make you feel. Oh, yes, they can. That's the people that say that aren't holding themselves accountable for what they are doing. Okay. That's just my belief. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. So I feel like whoever is responsible for your feeling of lack, yes, you're going to set your boundaries and you're going to do it with your crown on. So I see you shoulders back, head up, and you speak the truth, okay? Now, when we look at the end of the week, we have the temperance card with the king of hearts. There's the king. Moderation, six of spades, and the six of diamonds. So by the end of the week, I see you, temperance, I see you. You're, you're doing your best to be patient in this situation. With the king of hearts, you're holding your emotions in check. Yes, you are. With the moderation, you're slowly, because sometimes that king of hearts can come out as a dragon, right? So maybe you might want to blow off some steam because you're tired of being patient, okay? And I feel like slowly you're going to let that, that smoke or that flame come out slowly with the six of spades and it's going to continue with the six of diamonds because you know what your value is okay so you're being patient but you're losing that patience at the end of the week now let's take a peek at your bonus yeah, you're learning something here. I feel like um, um, with the, the, your bonus, the world card, the world card, with the eight of pentacles, the three of diamonds, goals, the ten of clubs, and the jack of hearts. So I am feeling like aha, things are going your way with the seven, with the eight of pentacles. I feel like setting those boundaries. Yes, it was a lot of work, but I feel like you've set these boundaries in the past. It's kind of like um, a reminder. I feel like it's a reminder. With the three of diamonds, I feel like it's making you a little bit worried about setting your boundaries again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you have goals. You want these boundaries to be adhered to. It's time. Yes, there it is. There it is. The teaching card, the 10 of clubs. It's time for you to teach. It's time to for you to. And I feel like with the Jack of Hearts, you're like, I taught this before. Dora, I've said this before a million times. I told them what my boundaries are, were. I told them it's time to say it again and again and again and again. Yes, the, take it as a teaching moment. Take it, yes, I have said this before. Yes, maybe you, maybe you need to teach it in a different way. Maybe you need to explain it in a different way. And you're like, I really, Dora, I don't, 
I don't have the patience. You do have the patience. Trust me, you do have the patience. And you will continue to have the patience in this situation, okay? Um, just whatever you do, do not give away your power. You are not powerless. You are powerful. So I'm going to leave it there. I send you joy. Namaste. And much, much love sent your way.